Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Welcome to $20 Tuesdays. $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable wigs for the $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more of a kind of like a get ready with me, but with a wig. A lot of get ready with me's showcase how one does their makeup, but I think wigs is more my forte. So I was like, maybe I should do just like a chit chat with me styling my wig. And given today's climate right now, I do have a few things in my mind. So I would love for us to have some discourse in the comments after this video. So let's just jump right in. So today's wig is by Sensational, this is Role Model, Sensational Role Model, and I have it in the color number four. This wig is a half wig, so it does come with a comb going across the front. The thing is with these new half wigs, they lay flatter so that less hair has to be used for leave out. So this is pretty flat right here. You have your comb in the back. You do have an adjustable strap as well. As you can tell, this is a textured unit. It mimics 4B, 4C hair that has been curled, like kind of like a, a rod set. That is what attracted it to me. I did review Role Model Sister Wig Moneymaker, the lace front, which I really, really liked. And yeah, let's start styling. So yeah, y'all, how are you all feeling today? I know for me, it's been a lot of up and down. Um, <sighs> Lord, where do I start? Basically, I found out last week that my one of my mentors from college passed away from COVID-19, right? He, oh man, his name is Mr. McDougal and he literally made my time at Howard so much easier. I worked under him in the office residence life. I really lucked out having him as a boss, you know? Really lucked out. Even though I did a lot of, you know, work for him, he looked out for your girl. I remember um, the first summer I wanted to stay in DC and not go home, and I had two internships, and I came to him like, you know, Mr. McDougal, I really, really want to stay in DC, but I can't afford housing right now. And he pretty much was like, girl, I'll put you down for work for housing, which at Howard was a big deal. Work for housing, everyone was clamoring for that. You know what I mean? So for him to kind of let me do it without even putting an application, and we kind of came to an agreement of when I would come into the office, I was so thankful. Now at the time, I was definitely last minute Sally. <laughs> like I had gotten my second internship in May or something like that, and I still didn't have housing. And my family was looking at me like, oh girl, you look like you're about to come back to New York. And I'm like, mm, no, I'm not. I'm just so thankful that, you know, Mr. McDougal, he let me stay on campus for two summers in a row for free. Just a te testament to what type of, type of person that he was. I worked with him for two years while in college. Then I moved on to another part of campus where I was working at the radio station. But even during the remainder of my time at Howard, you know, he treated me like family. I'll just never forget that about him. I found out about his passing because one of my college friends, we were really cool back in the day and we both worked under him. She found me on Instagram and she had liked some of my pictures. And I was like, oh my God, like what? I haven't spoken to her in like, 10 years so i hit her up via dm this was like the morning the next morning after she found me and literally she hit me back immediately saying mr mcdougall passed away and sent me the twitter thread and i was just like what y'all and i was just reading all the different messages that people you know were saying about him and i i just really broke down you know i mean i was just talking about him three weeks ago i was just talking to C about him and how like I was re reminiscing with C and like how he was an important part of my college experience and I just couldn't believe like just like that he was gone and I'm just like wow why didn't I just reach out and call him when I thought of him you know what I mean so I was really torn up about it <sighs> yeah y'all it wasn't good I was just on and off 
crying all day Wednesday and then Thursday was the same thing and I just wasn't, I just wasn't feeling like myself. And I didn't want to create. I didn't want to create anything. I just wanted to lay in bed and, and wallow and like kind of beat myself up for not like keeping in, in touch. I was looking at old emails and I found like an email of me, pictures of me and his daughter who at the time was like maybe six years old because I used to babysit his daughter sometimes. And I just felt an enormous amount of sadness. And then thinking about the fact that he died from COVID-19, it was just, it was just a lot. Then literally the same morning I found out about his death, we found out about George Floyd. So that was a wave of emotion as well. It just wasn't the best week at all. And I basically didn't record anything for five days. I was supposed to do Small Talk Saturday and I thought to myself, oh, I could kind of turn this around and actually talk about like what's been going on in our community for Small Talk Saturday, but I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the will to do it. And I didn't feel like getting super emotional on camera. I just didn't feel like being in that space. So I just kind of took some time to myself. I was still on social media though. I was still on Instagram and scrolling and perusing and you know keeping abreast of like everything that was going on in different cities but yeah that's just been heavy on my mind like the death of my old mentor you know what's been going on with george floyd and, and not just him like all the people who for him that have been unjustly basically executed in broad daylight at a certain point it's just like when does this madness stop and then people want to condemn people for wanting to riot and, you know, use brute force and show their anger. And it's just like, what do you expect? Being peaceful has not worked for our community. When we are peaceful, oftentimes our voice is not properly heard. So to be at this point where people feel the need to riot, I mean, look, I stand by the revolution, okay? I am a black woman. I have black family members. I have known a lot of black men in my life that have greatly impacted me. My grandfather, my uncles, black men that I've known, black men that I have been in romantic relationships with, black men that I have met in my travels. Black men have played a big part of my life. So I'm just tired of the bullshit. If this is what gets us some type of justice, I'm here for it. Something has to be done. I don't know, like, I don't know what goes on in the police academy and like during their training, but I feel like something that needs to be looked at there. As far as <laughs> racism as a whole, that's just the whole of the beast job. This country was built upon racism, you know? And sometimes I feel like when it's so deeply embedded into a system like it is here in the United States, it's almost like no turning back. It's like you're better off just going somewhere and starting your own shit, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I mean, I do know, it's just, it's just frustrating. It's really frustrating. And I, um, I'm just tired. As a content creator, you know, I, I still want to stick to my schedule and I still want to post, but it's just like, I don't feel like it. I didn't feel like recording today. I had to force myself because I'm trying to like stay on schedule and stay with the algorithm, you know, on YouTube. But at a certain point, it's just like, ugh, so exhausting. But I will give a shout out to Sensational because I saw on Instagram, that they are donating $50,000. To where exactly, I can't remember off the top of my head, but when I shout them out in my comment in the video, I'll post where they donated to. If you all are interested in donating, I will definitely leave links in my comment as well to places where you can donate, like the George Floyd Memorial and also the Minnesota Freedom Fund. There's also a Justice for George Floyd petition that you can sign. There's a lot of ways to express activism even if you aren't at the front of the line even if you're not out protesting there are still other ways to assist in the cause and to like help our community i'm just trying to do my part but at the same time i also want to protect my peace social media has been a bit overwhelming so i've been taking breaks in between and that's also why i didn't record for five days because i just wasn't in the space to do 
I just wasn't in the space. Right now I'm feeling better. I feel okay like being in front of the camera. Like now that I'm actually in front. I didn't want to come in on camera to be honest, but now that I'm here, I'm like, all right, this isn't, this is going okay. And also it helps that this hair is coming out really cute. I hope you guys like the way I formatted this video today. Let me know, drop some comments. Let me know if this chit chat, like me talking while styling the wig is something that you like. Now I know the focus wasn't on the wig today per se. Because of that, I will include some tips on how I cut my curly wigs in the description box. But I also have a wig 101 playlist where I have a slew of videos that show you how I customize my, customize my wigs. So I hope that can be a resource to you as well. With this wig, I think this wig is pretty much done. It came out really cute, you guys. Yes, she looks good. What do you all think? How do you feel about this like mushroom cut I was going for? There were some slight layers in this when I got it, but y'all know me. And when it comes to these curly, kinky curly wigs, you can't just pop them on and go. You have to like make it frame to your face. And I love bangs. I love bangs when it comes to curly hair like this, so. That's why I cut it in this way. If you've made it this far, I'm so happy, I'm so glad. I really just want everyone to know that there are a lot of different ways to make an impact. And I just wanted to provide some numbers here that you can call, that you can text. And also, if you want more resources, check out my stories on Instagram because I'm sharing as much as I can on there. So yeah, y'all, this is the final look. I really am feeling this mushroom cut. I think it looks really cute on me. It's actually like my favorite way to cut my key curly wigs. Drop some comments down below and let me know if you would rock this. Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you the price. This retails for like $16 and some cents, almost $17. Definitely within the $20 price range for $20 Tuesday. This is such an easy breezy beautiful slay i absolutely love it y'all know i love texture i love hair that mimics my natural hair so this is working for me it's also off the shoulder so that's really nice you know it's, it's just it's just great for summer i know today's video was different and i would love your feedback on if you like this kind of chit chat while i do my hair type of video it's something that i've been wanting to try but just felt a little awkward about it because i thought i would be like too distracted by doing my hair but it's seems like I was able to talk and snip at the same time so it, it wasn't so it wasn't so bad so if you would like to see more videos like this definitely drop that in your comment down below please check the description box to see the resources that I have as far as supporting justice for Floyd and if you need more help with your wigs I will have links to different avenues on my channel that will help you with slaying during the summer. Also talk to me in the comments about how you have been dealing during this time, how you're feeling, how are you protecting your energy, do you consider yourself an activist during times like this? If you are, how do you support your community? Let me know, let's talk about it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. At the end of the day, you guys know where I stand and I just, I'm just gonna keep praying over our community. If you are new here, tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me for this very special $20 Tuesday. I love you all, be safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.